this is Katie Play Stuff, where I play stuff for you. And today, we're getting back to the next part of Alan Wake 2. All right, you guys, we are back and I got a haircut. I don't know if anybody noticed. I think my bangs are a little too long, so you might see me in the next video with like teeny tiny bangs because I tried to cut them myself. I don't know, but we're working with it. I am so excited to get into this next part because we are finally getting to the scariest part of this game. At least I think so. Uh, you guys told me in the comments that this is going to have a lot of jump scares, and I'm ready for that. I'm ready to see some horror in this horror game, okay? I'm excited for it. So, let's just jump right in. And we're back. We are back, and I am so excited. Let's see what we got here. All right, I have one, two three, four, five, six hand flares, three of these propane tanks, some batteries. This, this thing is just so not organized at all, but we have a lot of shit. Okay. We got a lot of shit. We also have rifle ammo for a gun we do not have. So, uh, are we getting a rifle soon or I don't know, but yeah, I'm ready to get going guys so you guys told me in the comments that the way to get out of this place is to go downstairs and talk to rose so that's what we're gonna do um we also got jump scared if you remember right at the end of the last part right over here by this water cooler uh i thought cynthia weaver was the bad guy from the first game and i was actually mistaking her with barbara barbara jagger so she is not the person that I thought she was. Oh, there's a lot of fucking water on the floor. You see that? What a mess. Actually, you can't really see it. You can kind of see it from over here. Anyway, um, so yeah, I thought she was like the bad guy from the first game. She's not. She's actually a really nice lady who helps us in the first game. And instead of like cult stashes in this game, uh, she would leave you cult stashes basically but it was full of uh hand flares and like lights so that could help alan throughout his storyline so she was really helpful and i'm hoping she's still helpful and she's still a good person did i just pick up a cross bolt okay i don't want that so i'm gonna have to get rid of that hello she's got nothing to say you guys are lying to me in the comments? Like, I thought we were friends. Are you uh, planning to go watch the Deer Fest parade, Mandy Bay? And sit in a crowd of noisy drunks all day? I'd rather stick this knitting needle in my ear. <laughs> okay. She's all about sticking that needle places it shouldn't be. Um, I'm confused. You guys told me to talk to her. So I had to have missed something up here. I must not have triggered... No, because to talk to her has to do... Oh god, now he's in T-pose. This poor guy just can't catch a break. You good? Let's chalk it up to him just being old. He's just old. I hope that I don't have to talk to him and my game's glitched out or something and that's why the game isn't progressing. I doubt it. But that would fucking suck. Okay, hold on. Let me check the case board. Maybe there's something in here I'm supposed to do. Okay, so I have a bunch of stuff. Let's see. Art likes Art likes wakes writing has the power to change reality, and the clicker magnifies that change. Okay. The clicker needs to be used with wakes writing. Does it really have the power to fix this? The clicker is an amplifier alone. It's not very useful. Right. The clicker makes Wake's writing change reality. Can I trust him with that much power? You know, I don't think we can trust him at not all. Not sure I have a choice. To be honest. I, I'm genuinely concerned about Alan. I'm pretty sure that he is Scratch. And the only reason why I think this, I'm going to talk your fucking ear off for a second, is because I just rewatched Buffy recently. I don't know if any of you guys are Buffy fans. Great show. One of my favorite childhood shows. But anyway, I just rewatched Buffy recently. And there is a big bad in one of the seasons that can change uh, characters, basically. It's like one second they're a girl 
and like this all powerful god and the next second they're like this guy who's a doctor but they're the same person but they just change bodies am i explaining this right anyway so there's this episode in buffy where the guy the doctor guy goes oh she's coming she's coming that's what she said she's here and he yells she's here and all of a sudden his face changes and he becomes the girl the god lady and um that's exactly what wake said <laughs> he literally said like i could feel scratch i could feel him and then he's here and then it cuts to black so buffy teaches you things Look for Tor in his room. He's in danger. Bad things happen in the wellness center. <sighs> Tor is not okay. Clearly. Something is definitely going on here. All right, so let's see what else we got here. Odin spoke directly to me in the mind place. It felt different, clearer, like a conversation. What does this mean? He calls me a seer. Okay, then we got Tor. While the cult has been trying to recruit them for years, he and Odin rejected all of their offers. Mulligan Thornton. Oh, here. Uh, next, the story still says for later. Okay. Alrighty. <clears throat> Now that we've done that, let's go see if we can talk to her. If not, I have no fucking idea. Yeah, here we go. I know Tor's in the wellness center. Tor's in the wellness center, isn't he? No, he's... Well, yes, uh -huh. but you really shouldn't go in there right now. I'm gonna need you to unlock the door. This is FBI business. It's just... There's some things that, uh... <sighs> yes, okay. I'll let you in. Thanks. Thank you, Rose. Look for Tor in the wellness center. Okay. This way? I thought the wellness center was next door. Watch out for puddles. You can hurt yourself in the dark. Right. Um... Thanks. That lady is a walking red flag. You guys see there's puddles right here? There's literal puddles on the floor right there. I don't know if the camera's picking it up all that well, but uh... Why are you all wet, lady? Why is there a trail of puddle right next to you? I don't know. Um, alright, well. Oh, okay. So we're going. And you guys were also telling me in the comments who Rose is. And I do know who she is. I know she's she's the waitress at the, the diner. I just never said anything about her in the last video because I had already recorded this video, as you guys remember. <laughs> that story I told you. I need something to cut this. Okay, we need the bolt cutters once again. Um, so I'm sure I brought up Rose working at the uh, the nursing home in the previous video I had recorded, but then I lost the footage, so whatever. But yes, I know she works at the diner, and she also works here, I guess. So, she's a busy lady. We got our map. Dark. Empty. Uh-huh. Be ready, Saga. Yeah, this is great. Okay, this is that door that leads out to the parking lot. Um, can't go back there. This place is creepy already. Got old people shower. And nothing. Thank you, game, for that. What? Hello? Tor? Tor? It's Saga Anderson. Why is there nothing in any of these? Is it because I'm full of shit? <laughs> I am full of shit, that's for fucking sure. But is it because I have all of the stuff in my inventory and so this would normally be... have... 
What am I trying to say? Like, would this have something in it if I wasn't already full? Maybe. Hello? Oh! I think he was in here. Okay, let me look around. Manuscript page. Taurus bewitched. Tor Anderson had lightning in his veins. This was rock and roll, baby. That weaver girl had cast a spell on him. Tor would do anything she'd ask. Tor deserved this. Tor wanted this. She wanted the song. A gift. He had to get it for her. Afterwards, it was too late. Tor swung his hammer in frustration. The spark was gone. Black liquid clogged his mind. A bad trip. Tor fought it. He was strong. He'd never be taken. But the darkness could still drown him. Tor needed to warn someone. It was all happening again. Tom was back. Coming back. Tom would need help too if he was going to make it. But the brothers were too old to stop at this time. Tor had called someone. Someone who could help. The name escaped him. Drowned beneath dark water. Alright. I need one more piece for that. Okay, so the Taken is trying to take Tor. There's a flare in there. Tor. Looks like he was here. Why is there nobody else here? There's no patients, there's no doctors. He's hurt pretty bad, but he tore off his bandages. Why? Okay, what does this say? Tor was here. Doc, Rose and me found Mr. Anderson knocked out on floor by phone. Burns on hand and cut on head. Was out cold, so brought him here. Been acting strange all week. Take good care. He is VIP. Okay. Okay. Uh... What do we got? Wellness center? Odin said Tor needs help. But from what? Is he turning into a Taken? Uh-huh. Yep. Tor becoming Taken. Where is Tor? Okay. Chart says Tor's behavior has been increasingly volatile. Uh, here we go. It's been acting strangely. A bloody bandage. Hmm. Um, okay. Why remove a bandage when you're still bleeding? Tor, a sign bed is empty. If Tor was brought here to rest, he didn't stay long. Tor Anderson had lightning in his veins. Tor is being targeted. He needs help. Mm-hmm. All right. Um... Maybe this way. This is creepy. This reminds me of Resident Evil. The uh must be locked from the other side. Like laboratory area. Okay, wait, I was already here. That's locked. Rehabilitation. Oh! Tor! Tor, wait! It's me! Wait, 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 wait. Oh. oh, come on. Locked. An electric lock. Looks like it's controlled remotely. <sighs> Fucking... Okay, cool. Can anybody tell me why Cynthia Weaver is jump-scaring me? She was a nice-ass lady in the first game. Helped us out. She helped us get the clicker. She knows all about this shit. So unless she's become a Taken herself... Why is she acting like this? Hold on. I have a cat meowing at my door and I don't want my mic to pick it up, so hold on. I apologize if you hear meowing in the background. Also, I apologize for this. I'm surrounded. I'm surrounded. Okay. 
Uh, all right, so I just opened this door, came in here. I don't want to miss any rooms, though. What's over here? Oh, shit. Okay, little computer room, little caution sign. Nothing, once again. We have a health spot. Nothing. Okay, I'm just... What was that noise? What the hell was that? Okay, I'm just getting deeper and deeper into this place, and I'm missing rooms, I think. <gasps> what is this? Locked, I bet. This door needs a knob. Needs a knob? Oh, I'm coming for you, baby. Teeny tiny bathroom. Alright, let's go back and find some of the rooms we missed here. Uh... Where does this go? Okay. So this is where I came in. I went down that hall. Um. Oh, is this a save room? Save room. Which is good, because we're gonna actually have to make some room. Because if I'm gonna get that rifle... I can't be having all this in here. Um, we're gonna get rid of you. Gonna get rid of you. What else, what else? I have a bunch of flares already, so let's get rid of two of them at least. And... Those. Move you up. Move you there. How big's a rifle? I wonder if it's going to be this whole row or four. I'm just going to hope for the best. All right, save it. All righty. Let us proceed. So, on our map, that is this room here. Okay, this one here next door is locked. Rifle room is locked. Looks like there's a circle right here in the security room. This is locked. Alright, let's uh, go out to the left here. Locked. I was in here, right? Yep, that's Tor's room. Okay, I just want to get the lay of the land, people. This isn't it either. Why am I lost again? <laughs> this is it. Here we are. Okay, so he locked that door, so we are going to go this way. Now, is this the room that has the circle on it? Nope, it's all, I'm all the way down here. Okay. Let's keep going. There's the little bathroom. A security computer. Okay. Needs a password. Of course it does. And a warrant, technically. Of course it but does. But hey, desperate times. I'm not picking that up right now. I just need some room, so we're gonna wait. Okay. Yeah, this has gotta be it. We got four, seventeen. 17, 20, 29, 17, 31. What the fuck? What? Okay, what do these notes say? May 5th, full moon. May 12th, third quarter. May 19th, new moon. This says day off. That says day off. Full moon, third quarter. 
What what does this have to do with anything? Okay, that's gotta be it. Ah, uh, 1508, so August 15th. Hurrah! My acceptance letter has arrived. I am one of the gang now. So, do... Do Svidania to the boring old Vlad. Hello to the exciting new man about to town Vlad. I will buy vodka and herring to celebrate. This month, everything will change. Okay. 1608. I had to take care of dead raccoon over by the bunker. Smelled very bad. Not good for my hangover. This doesn't give me a code, except for 815. 816. 816. It's here. New moon. Are you saying anything about the new moon in here? Dead raccoon? Acceptance letter has arrived. Hello, exciting new man. I'll buy vodka and herring to celebrate. This month will change everything. I need I need more help with that. What's this? The Koskala brothers aren't just in the cult. They're its damn leaders. Yeah, we knew this. Did we? Did we know this? Okay, I just found a bunch of stuff. The Cult of the Tree welcomes you, Yako and Ilmo Koskela. Vladimir Bloom. You have been accepted into the prestigious ranks of our most hallowed organization. As such, you will join our noble cause and be privy to our most guarded secrets. The ceremony will take place the day after the next new moon as tradition. The day after the next new moon as is tradition. Hold on. Hold on, this chair's in the way. Now, August. Full moon. August 16th is the new moon. The day after the new moon is the 17th. Okay. 08, 17, 23. Right? How long is this password? 08, 17, that would be perfect. Yeah, hell yeah. Okay, unlock the doors. And the doors are open. The doors are open. Uh, can I read anything else in here? We got doors unlocked. Let's see. Riddle for your rifle. Always, always. Uh, I'm a little doorknob that's out of place, but solve these clues that you and you can trace the way to your private space. <laughs> I meet you at the greet inside a bright glassy cage where pretty flowers bloom. I meet you at the greet inside a bright glassy cage. Okay, so the front desk where bright flowers bloom. Why did you take the doorknob to my personal room? I am sick of old people tricks. You bring it back so I can get my rifle. I'm supposed to go on a deer hunt tomorrow. If you don't, I will hunt you instead. <laughs> okay, Vladimir. Vladimir, I do not need to remind you that Tor and Odin would be ideal candidates for the cult. Please try harder to recruit them. Why do you want these old ass people to be ideal candidates? Meet you at the great inside a bright glassy cage. Okay. Damn it! I didn't mean to pick that up. I will get rid of that. Um. Wait, so did I unlock it? Oh, shit! <laughs> oh god. Well, I'm not- <laughs> Hold on. Oh, wait, that's locked. I thought I unlocked everything. Blum's workroom? But- Oh, wait, I need to go to the bright glassy cage, right? Or glossy- whatever. Not this music, because I opened that door. Um... Reception, reception.
This is it. How does this help me get the rifle, though? Oh, this is unlocked now. And look, it's... Oh, I can go out. That's creepy. Does that mean I can go back over to the nursing home in the dark? I wonder if things are, like, different over there, if it's the same? Okay, hold on. Painkillers, I'm just picking shit up left and right. We got the doorknob. Got the doorknob and this room, this kitchen area. Batteries. I'm not gonna have room for the rifle. Alright, give me the doorknob. Okay, we got a manuscript, the Colt Storms Lodge. Rest easy, buddy. I don't know how many of these there are in the game. I don't know how many I've pet. I, I don't know. Oh, there's blood over here. <gasps> An occult mask and blood on this this uh, garbage thing for hazardous material. That's not good. Okay, it says it's full, but how full? Ah, there we go. Ready for a fight, baby. Well, now that I got it, I don't want to use it, but I do want to quick slot it up and put you down there. Alrighty. Okay, wait, before we do anything, I got some stuff with the case board and I also got manuscript. Ilmo was nervous. His palms were clammy. Knees weak, he arms are sweaty. Mulligan isn't picking up. Yako shook his head, pointed at his own phone. Same with Thornton. Ilmo didn't like it. No one was answering the phone at the workshop in Watery either. Something was up. It had to be the writer. Had to be. The Coscula brothers were crouching in the bushes across from the Elderwood Palace Lodge, its light shining in the night. They couldn't wait any longer. The brothers knew Saga was in Watery visiting her trailer. Going now was their only chance to do this without hurting her. Ilmo stood up and a crowd of deer masks looked his way. Okay, this is it. The rider is the target. Take him down and it's all over. Only shoot the fed if you have to. This is our big moment. We watch in the night. The crowd murmured the chant back to him. Ilmo turned his face to the hotel. He could see Saga's partner in the window. Ilmo slapped his brother on the shoulder. The brothers donned their masks. The cult of the tree was ready. Does the screen... I was listening, but does the screen always kind of glitch out like that when the manuscripts are playing? Or is that just my screen? Because I swear to God my game is haunted. Every time I edit one of these videos, there's something I gotta edit out or something I have to fix. Some weird glitch in the video. And, um, I just don't remember if the screen always looked like that when you're listening to manuscripts. So, in the last video, I walked into the, the hotel as Alan, and I had to- it sounded perfectly fine to me. The audio was completely normal, but in the video that you watched, the audio got all, like, high-pitched and, like, shrieky. And there was actually a part I had to edit out because Alan was talking and it just sounded like a robot was talking. It was the weirdest thing ever. And it doesn't sound like that when I'm recording, like I don't hear it in my headphones. But for some reason when I'm uploading it, it does that. I just... I don't get it. Okay. Ilmo Koskela stood in front of a small gathering. Mocha was a wonderful moose. Grandmaster? Interesting word to use under the circumstances. Cult initiation letter. Uh, who's involved? 
Vladimir Bloom. Find evidence. Okay. Oh, wait. Cult's initiation letter. Here, here. There we go. Alright. Now, can I look at this now? No, I still can't. How much later? Figured all this out already. So this goes here. Oh, good. That goes there. Oh, I like this automatic placement, and I don't have to do this. I figured that out all by my own. By my own. Whatever. By myself. <laughs> I'm very proud of myself for that. Um... It just opened this door? Okay, so what's unlocked now? Investigation here. Trauma pad here. These are open now, it looks like. Investigation? Am I missing something? Oh. Day, then month. Alright, I was supposed to click that. He uses European formatting. Day, then month. But, uh, the password I put in was 0817, which was month and day, so I don't know what you're talking about. What you talking about? I also don't know which doors were locked and which weren't. Oh, this one. Shit! Whoa. What are you? This guy Not at all. Good. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh, floating stool. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Why was it like he was in water? <gasps> oh, okay, get rid of that. Before something comes out of it. Hold on. Good thing I got batteries. <sighs> okay, yeah, it was like he was in the water and he disappeared and then came back up. And I had to stand on this. That's scary. Need to catch up with Tor. Uh huh. But was there rooms that I missed back here because they were locked? I don't remember now. I guess this room here, it's all gray. I'm just gonna run back really quick. Uh, is it this room here? Okay, there's stuff in here. Gale taken. Okay. What's this say? Gale Barrows. Violent outbursts resulting from rapid onset dementia should be restrained whenever possible under until a dosage can be found that impedes his aggression. Harry. Great. So we're gonna have a crazy dementia patient chasing us pretty soon. Okay, got some ammo, so that's good. Let's see if my screen glitches out again when I listen. The Mile High Strangler case. Okay, that's Proud not of that one. what I meant to click on. <laughs> Gail Barrows stared at his chest x-ray. His? It was in his left lung. It felt like a black hole. An opening to darkness. He felt like he was drowning. He coughed and coughed and coughed. So hard his whole body and soul felt twisted and mangled. Upside down and inside out. With every cough, the black hole grew bigger. It felt good. It tore him up, but it felt good. Gale was dying. The black hole was sucking everything good out of him. 
He imagined looking through it, into the darkness. The black hole grinned. Gale couldn't escape its gravity. He worshipped it. Gale sacrificed to it. In blood. Alright, Gale, you a crazy bitch. But, uh, was that Gale that I just killed then? And now I don't have to deal with him because he's already dead? Let's hope this is Gale. Because Gale sounds scary. Okay. Next. Um, everything's tipped over in here. Uh. This must have been Tor's. Yep. Should we keep it? <laughs> This is going to have a lot of jump scares, and I'm ready for that. I'm ready to see some horror in this horror game. I take it back. Uh. Oh, I'm scared. I'm scared. Um... I'm just gonna take some more health. I'm gonna make sure that I am stocked up on the health. Because, you know, you never know. I hear water. At least I thought I heard water, which doesn't bode well. Okay, maybe this whole place just sounds... What is that? This minute, that water is bad for you. Tor, wait. <laughs> Cynthia Weaver, I know it's you. This kind of behavior is not okay. Let him go. Tor. She knows about Cynthia Weaver? Wait! Oh, she's saying, okay. Oh my god. Okay, bolt cutters for that way. What's this? Another page. Odin loses an eye. Um, but what the hell? He just ran into the the pond? And she knows about Cynthia Weaver? Hello? What was that? Where did Tor go? What on earth do you mean, Sokka? Are you crazy? He's resting in the wellness center. Remember? What? We both saw him go into the pond. <laughs> Okay. Are you fucking with me? Or, or is this a story again? Now, now. Let's cool it with the language. She's clearly lying to me. Why? I mean, clearly, I was standing right there and saw it. Like, you're fucking... You're gaslighting me. <laughs> okay, hold on. We gotta listen to this manuscript first. It's 1988. A face-off between deities on the rim of Cauldron Lake, high above its dark waters. Thunder roared. The old gods facing something even more powerful. Something harder to define, even. Or, changing the perspective? Raving lunatics, all. Caught up in the frenzy of a shared delusion. The old gods, the corsairs of the Sea of Night, and the Dark One who yearned to stand in between. Who had always stood in between who would soon stand in between. We help you, you stay away from our family, Tor Anderson snarled over the thunder. Yes, until you all come to me, came the answer. That's never gonna happen, shouted Odin. I will take this as collateral, shall you remember our deal, said the Dark One. Blood arched from Odin's face as he fell to his knees. Lightning hit the dark figure on the cliff. 
And with that, he was gone. Well, that sucks. Tor rushed to his brother. Are you alright, bro? Effectively blind in that moment, the eye patch covering his left eye, his hand over the now empty socket of his right, blood oozing out of it. Odin cursed. The bastard took the wrong eye. What do you mean, the wrong eye? Like he should have taken Tor's eye instead of Odin? Or he just took the left one instead of the right? I, I don't know. Into the pond! Tor disappeared into the pond. It's another overlap. Uh -huh. Has to be. How do I get inside? <sighs> I don't want to go into another overlap at all. Okay, now I got two for later. Okay. Um. Get me out of here. Sorry, I can't press anything. It, like, won't let me leave. It's, like, glitched or something, I think. Why is my game so fucked up? Hmm. Okay, can I load? Is there an autosave section? Or 19 minutes ago? Oh, come on. Yeah, I can't get out of the screen, guys. It won't let me. Damn it. 19 minutes ago? What was I doing 19 minutes ago? Is it just when I unlock the door? Okay. I will see you guys in a second after I redo this. <laughs> I hate this guy. Gale, if that's you, I hate you. You got an ugly mustache. <sighs> I need to catch up with Tor. Yeah, yeah. It's a lot of things. Ah, uh, jump scare. <laughs> Shut up. You had it coming. You have it coming. You weird ass old lady. Okay. And let us hope that nothing happens. What was that? Where did Tor go? What on earth do you mean, Sokka? She's clearly lying to me. Alright, I skipped it. Why? Alright, let's profile her. Um... I just want to save it first. And it looks like we can go in here now. So maybe I'll run up to the save room real quick. As long as this place is safe. Oh, I just saw somebody walk out. That could have been Cynthia Weaver. Um, but yeah, let me go to the save room real quick before we look around here. If it's still even a save room. It is, okay. Alrighty. Um, it's really creepy. But I'm gonna head back down, because I- oh, there's something here, too. Alright, I'll just pick that up so I don't miss it when I come back up. Odin's stuck in bed, okay. Um, let me back- run back over here so I can look around the old-fashioned way. And let us profile her first. Alright, let me do the case board quick. Um... Hopefully it doesn't glitch on me. Rose. Rose's lies. Rose watched Tor go into the pond. Why is she lying to me? The secret mission for Alan's number one fan. The hero will say Wake has returned. We're all characters in his story. Gee whiz. I'm not his fucking character. But I can use that phrase to make Rose stop lying to me. Sounds like Rose is actually Wake crazy. Returned. Maybe she's here at the nursing home because she's psychotic and there actually is nobody taking care of them. Maybe it's Ati. <laughs> Cynthia took Tor. What happened to her? When the darkness touches your head, your bookshelf gets shuffled. 
I put her lamp in the shoebox. What do you call a lamp lady without her lamp? Is Rose talking about Cynthia or herself? Or both? Okay. She put something in a shoebox. And I doubt it's the shoebox that I use to store my items. It's probably in Cynthia's room. Um. Alright. Now we can actually look around. Jukebox. Some uh, raffle, looks like, that we missed out on. TV playing the ring. And some water. Okay, I can't turn it off. That's creepy. Alright, where is everybody? Hopefully they're all asleep in their beds. Except for the one person who went out the door that I saw. Welcome to the emergency mustard Can you put some clothes on? Stay on the porch. You all should stay out here a while. Until it's safe. I'm happy to get out of that house. Isn't it strange that I've lived in Bright Falls my whole life and I can't remember this building? The house has always been here, Norman. Remember when that poor Nora girl drowned in the bunker? Those Andersons got it so cheap because it's haunted. You get what you pay for. Girl, why are your hands all bloody? Does everybody see that? She's like knitting her hands raw. Or she been up to something. You got blood on your hands? No. Innocent. Innocent all of you except for you. Oh, wait. She, we can ask her. Is there anyone who didn't show up? A few. Artie, Gil, Cynthia. If oh. they aren't here by now, then they aren't coming. It's important to be punctual. Okay. On that topic, I'd like to point out that our nightly decaf coffee service is almost half an hour behind schedule. She was definitely a gym teacher when she was younger. Uh, tell me about Cynthia Weaver. Are you injured? Mandy May, are you alright? You're bleeding. Oh, how did that happen? Oh, no, Mandy May. Oh, oh no! Oh, don't be a crybaby, Norman. It's nothing. I just poked my finger knitting this monster of a blanket. Didn't she just say, how did that happen? But now you know how it happened? You liar! Have any of you noticed anything odd about Ms. Weaver? Just that Tor won't leave the poor woman alone. That brute wants one thing, and one thing only. Cynthia's gotten downright bossy. Take a swim in the pond, Norman. Drink some water, Norman. Well, no one tells Norman MacDonald what to do. Okay. <laughs> Hi, I've heard your radio show. Hello there. Are you Pat Main from the radio? That's me. And you're the federal agent everyone's been talking about. Would you have time for an interview at some point? Yes. Oh, sorry. I'm kind of in a hurry right now. Love your show, though. Very informative. I would love Thank to be you. on his show. Never a compromise on quality. That's my motto. We'd be happy to have you on the show any time. Me and my listeners. That's good. And you got nothing to say for yourself. Did I offend you? I'm sorry. Okay. Well, Why are we out here again? Ati <laughs> said we'd be safe on the porch. Where's Ati at? Was this open before? Got batteries though. All right. I did pick up a manuscript. 
Uh, Odin's stuck in bed. Odin Anderson stirred in his bed, his vision hazy, smudged. He felt weighted down by an ocean of dark water. Through the haze, he made out Saga. Odin felt useless. He wished he could tell Saga how his silly faces made her smile when she was young. Too young to remember. Odin used to joke that Tor was her grandfather, but he was the Allfather. He smiled at the memory. Odin was the kinder of the Anderson brothers. Tor lacked patience, more volatile. The brothers fought a lot, but they were inseparable. Now Tor was missing, dragged into darkness. Odin could feel it. Time was running out for both of them. All right. Well, is he still up here? He is. Doesn't look like he's going anywhere. You're all right, bud. All right, so I uh, was in here. Are these doors unlocked now? I don't have the key. What do you mean? I need a key? Oh. Hey. Do you know anything about the cult of the tree? Yes, yes. He who reaches for a spruce tree will stumble into a juniper. Huh? Bloom was one of them. He has kicked empty. <laughs> I wouldn't want to be in his shoes, but I like his shoes. Uh-huh. Shoebox, where is it? How did you know Blum was part of the cult? Oh, Fox never runs out of tricks. He's a crazy man, and he will show his ways. <laughs> Blum like to talk. <laughs> Do you have anything to add? <laughs> Your clock is messed up. Okay. Uh... Ati, I'm gonna need some help. Unless there's a shoebox in one of these rooms. Need the key. All right, all right. Uh, now, it wouldn't be in my shoebox, would it? This one here? There's no key in here, right? No. Okay. So I go back and talk to Rose now that I profiled her. Wake has returned? Rose. Um. Wake has returned. <gasps> oh. My. God. <laughs> You're the hero! You're here to save Alan! <sighs> I feel so silly for trying to keep you out of the wellness center. I locked Torangale in there after they lost it, and I didn't want you getting hurt. <laughs> Before I forget. Here's the page Wake told me to give you. Oh, and you'll need my keys to get around. Oh my god. Is this fun for you? Are you having a good time? Give me the damn thing. Rose's Saga jabbed on. the selector on the jukebox. The missing record in its place. Saga couldn't have found it without Odin's help. A light bloomed in through the garden window. The horror story beat me to Tor. I have to rescue him. The key to this overlap is an old Gods of Asgard record. A record? Odin will know more. Odin. Okay, so I gotta go back up there. Okay. But I have a key now. Oh. Wait. Is that Odin or... Oh, it is Odin. Okay. Sorry, I'm coming. Oh, I'm lost. Hold on. Oh, 
Hello? You have nothing? <sighs> okay. <laughs> well? Alright, let me go unlock some doors. Now, this is the Old Gods of Asgard Museum Hall of Fame. Okay. The record. And his remorse. <laughs> this is the one. But it's gone. Cynthia has the record. She will tell me where to find it. Cynthia has it. Framed by the old gods of Asgard to memorialize only pressing of unreleased single anger's remorse. Okay. You gotcha. Trashed hotel rooms and ruined pools. Crowds go wild for the old gods of Asgard Ragnarok tour. The rock and roll group of old gods of Asgard are leaving chaos in their wake as they plow through the major U.S. cities on their aptly named Ragnarok tour. The band is breaking their sales records with singles topping the charts and blah 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 blah. Uh, I don't want to read any of these guys. <laughs> I apologize. But, um... So this is a little museum room, looks like. And... Oh, so this is just the plaque, so this isn't the record. So we gotta get to that record. Let's go upstairs. Check out Cynthia Weaver's room. What's the music about? He's still sitting here, so I feel safe. Ooh, it's getting louder. <sighs> it was literally getting louder. No use crying in the dark place. What has been has scored. But trouble doesn't look like this. You can go to the basement uh -uh. and check the generator. Why can't you but do look it? Out. You can never know in which tree the devil sits. The basement. Thanks. Why can't he go? Oh, okay. So I can't. Key fob's no good without power. My God, that just seems dangerous. They should have actual keys for these elderly people. Ugh. I don't want to go to the basement. Ugh. Where's the basement? Admin office. You guys know where the basement is? Nothing left to say, okay. Um Alright. Oh What the hell? Where's Rose? Ah! You're not in the house, are you? I'm scared. Ah! <gasps> no way, you just walked in here. No way. Oh my god, I thought that was Norman. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry guys, I thought that was Norman running at me with his naked body. It was not. Okay. We're fine. I'm just going through the shotgun shells.
Uh. Oh, okay. Here it is. <sighs> okay, I'm scared. Yep, just water down here. I don't want to do this. Shit. Who are you? I need to get the power back on. Who the fuck is that? Key fob's no good without power. God. It's not opening. Jesus, this is a nightmare. Better not be a riddle. Remember, buy more fuses, many more. Crappy old equipment keeps blowing them. Okay, so that's why there's fuses in everybody's drawers. Or not fuses, not fuses. I was gonna say flares, but I guess that doesn't make sense. Barry struggles with artist. Barry struggles with arthritis. Uh, Saga opens the Valhalla. Did I listen to this one yet? Saga jabbed the selector on the jukebox. The missing record in its place. Saga couldn't have found it without Odin's help. Standing there, Saga felt exposed. Expecting the shadows to come alive. The needle crackled on the vinyl. The song swelled. Odin had said it was written for her and her mother. Her grandfather's apology. The lamentation of an old man. His heart was broken. Sinking into darkness. Odin had said that the song would be a way to no tour. A way to find him. A light bloomed in through the garden window. That's where Tor had vanished into the pond. Saga knew what she had to do. Okay, I might have listened to that already, but uh, if I did, I'll skip it. Anyway, um... Where's the one I just picked up? Cult Storms the Lodge. Very struggles with arthritis. Artist. Wheeler used to be the agent of a manic depressive celebrity writer, Alan Wake. Wake had various addictions on his back. An on off death wish. Wheeler had seen a thing or two. Wheeler paid a lot of money for a good shrink. Got himself convinced that all the nightmares he'd seen leading up to Wake drowning himself were just his imagination. PTSD. Now we had pills to keep the shadows from his sleep. But the Andersons were something else. The nightmares were starting to creep in again. Or maybe it was the drugs in the air. Wheeler hoped it was the drugs. The Andersons were so old. Vampires. After every gig in the party that followed, it took them weeks to bounce back. And they never did completely. Each time Wheeler expected them to croak. Fuse is blown. Okay. Maybe there are spares nearby. So here on our goals, rescue Tor from the overlap, find a way into the overlap, profile Odin about the song, find Anger's remorse, go to the nursing home. So I have a profile I have to do. Oh, and we got a save spot. Okay, profile. And Cynthia's here now. Oh! Cynthia targeted Tor specifically. Why him? Deal with the nasty Anderson fellow. His heart was broken. Cancelled. Leaks started appearing. It was too late. Shut her out of her own case. The dark presence is using Cynthia to keep me from talking to Tor. Alrighty. Where is Angus Remorse now? Kitty is a young girl in love. A rock and roll cliche. The shadows to come alive. A gift. An on off death wish. She has the record. I can get it out of her. Thought we knew that already. 
Where is it? Anga's remorse. Where is it, Cynthia? Drowned beneath dark water. Too many hands. The bathroom frightened her. Cut short. She screamed. An old folks care home. Bathtub? Bianca's remorse record is in Cynthia's room. In her bathtub. She has a bathtub in her room? Okay. Anga's remorse is missing. Well, we know where it is now. Who took it? Our shame becomes the pale horse. Oh, Tor. Bro. Tor's love for you is in that song. That's why Cynthia wants it. To ruin him. She made Tor lust after her. We fought one scratching hag years ago. Now he's fallen for another, and we might lose him for good. One less Anderson. That isn't going to happen. Cynthia has Tor in the overlap. Anga's remorse is the key to get there. I need to make Cynthia reveal its location. Oh my god, we've already done that. I wish the game recognized that. <laughs> The page mentions a missing record. <sighs> Do you know where it is, Odin? I'm sorry, guys. Driven by... I'm skipping it. <laughs> we know where it is. I'm not listening anymore. Let's keep going. Save it again, so I don't have to do that again. Alrighty. Now, it is in her bathtub, apparently. How do we get into her room if I... Can't be opened on this side. I need a fuse. Oh my god, this game is just full of things I have to sit and listen to or read. Come on, fuse. Rose. Spare fuse is now locked away because someone, Ati, keeps stealing them. Code is in the laundry room. Well, where's the laundry room? It's not opening. No, is there a laundry down here or up there? Buy more fuses. Okay, do I have a map of where the laundry room is? Dining room, drawing room, main hall, rec room, office. Workspace. Laundry room's down here in the basement. It's over... Here? Okay, that's the way out. How do I get over there? What? This thing? No. Okay, if it's locked from the other side, how we get in over the- Oh. Uh, yeah, there won't be a jump scare in here. The crazy old lady chasing me, I bet. Oh. Okay. Not as bad as I thought- uh. I'm scared. The power's off. Not that I want to be watching a movie down here. What's this? House of Zane, renowned filmmaker, establishes artist commune in Bright Falls. Thomas Zane, born Thomas Sane in Finland, and his partner Barbara Jagger, who is the bad lady from the first anyway, have recently established an artist commune here in Bright Falls. Mr. Zane has purchased the old manor house outside town, and the couple has already settled in. Oops. 
In his home country, and internationally as well, Mr. Zane is a well-known and respected amateur filmmaker, a rising star already compared to the likes of Stanley Kubrick and in, in Ingmar Bergman. His earlier film, Nightless Night, won a number of European film awards. Mr. Zane is currently in the process of filming a feature entitled Tom the Poet. In conversation, Mr. Zane comes across as a charismatic figure with big dreams. He talks about building a hotel and a film studio in the area. He even has a name picked out for the hotel, Ocean View Hotel. This reporter believes that the name has a nice ring to it. Mr. Zane dreams... Uh, Mr. Zane Dreams would certainly make Bright Falls a household name if it became reality. Members of the commune clearly felt the same, seeing Zane as a person worth revering, even to a faintly cult-like degree, a person who guides his flock to expand their consciousness and reach a higher state of artistic inspiration with the aid of magic mushrooms. While the Bright Falls record does not condone the use of illegal drugs, we hope Mr. Zane will help put our town on the artistic map. Thomas Zane looked just like Wake. Uh-huh. Is this why Odin keeps calling him Tom? Yeah, that could that could make sense. Yeah. I also thought Thomas Zane was a fictional character made up. Okay. Made up by Alan in one of his books. Come to find out he's a real guy, so I'm a little confused. Cynthia Weaver had always kept her lantern close. Someone in the bathroom with her. In the dark. Dark water pressed itself into her. She screamed. Okay, that's unlocked. This is the laundry room. Code is 273. Rose, if you see this, please remind my residents to leave myself alone. They think they hate me. Something's gonna attack me because I'm locked in here. Uh huh. Two, seven, three. Give me it. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Uh, locked. Wait, which way? Which way? Okay, I came in. I went this way. This. Fuse. There. Power's back on. Okay, I'm safe in here. There's light in here. Please don't attack me. Please don't attack me. Please don't attack me. Please let me go home. I'm scared. It doesn't budge. Okay. But wasn't there a door that needed a key fob or something? Oh, okay. Shit. Careful. <gasps> This door. No, I was just here. Oh my god, I'm just running. <laughs> I am just running. I wanted to find that door that was locked. Uh, this one. There we go. some health which is full I don't even need to take any health right now so I'm okay uh, this way let's go let's go all right so we got to go up to uh, Cynthia Weaver's room now who was that
Maybe I should go in Gale's room first. Before something bad happens to me in the other room. What is this? Alright, we got a lot of manuscripts to listen to. Alright, let's do that first. Emmett taken. What else? Emmett taken, Cynthia corrupted, and then building the Valhalla nursing home. Wheeler set up a foundation with the sales of their greatest hits album. He used the cash to build a nursing facility. The old men deserved it. An old manor in Bright Falls. Wheeler hired a contractor to have it refitted as an old folks' care home. At this point, Wheeler felt good about himself. He had a heart of gold. No need to feel guilty. Wheeler left the work to the contractor and returned to New York City. He had done his part. It was time to turn over a new leaf. The contractors figured out Wheeler was gone for good. They took the money and ran. When the fall rains came, the leaks started appearing. All right, Cynthia corrupted. Cynthia Weaver hated being old. She'd been a doer, a fighter. Now the bathroom frightened her, afraid she'd break her hip, like Norman. Cynthia had always kept her lantern close to hold the darkness at bay. Oh dear, my lantern. I think I've lost it, Cynthia said. This will put a smile back on your face, my dear, a voice said. A man's voice. Someone in the bathroom with her. In the dark. The light bulb had blown. She meant to replace it days ago. How could she forget? She had slipped getting out of the tub. She lay in the tub now. She lifted her hand. It looked wrong. Too many hands. In a black void with no sense of up or down, she was underwater. A dark shape pushed her down. Dark water pressed itself into her. She screamed. It came out in bubbles. So she drowned. Emmett taken. Emmett Elwood had had enough. All his life he'd been surrounded by the same small-minded, impolite, ignorant people in town. Their endless gossip. Their nose picking, chewing food with their mouths open, not washing their hands after visiting the restroom, and touching things, touching everything. The world was going to hell. He'd watched day after day how all the nice things in life in Bright Falls were spoiled and ruined forever. There would be a just and terrible reckoning. Emmett had imagined many times how he'd make them pay. He had lovingly tended his anger, made it grow hotter. It was out in the open now. Ugly and slobbering, they reached at him with their unwashed hands. He beat them down. Beat them until they no longer moved. And then he'd wash his hands with a strong antibacterial disinfectant. Okay, Emmett's got a problem. Not that I want someone with their unwashed hands touching me either. But, uh... Ew, that cup is scary. Alright, well, let's go into the fucking devil's lair. Why? <laughs> I hate it. Oh, this room is trashed. A dam? Was some the shit going on in there? Okay, she's got a picture of a dam. She's got something in her bathtub. The dark presence uses people's memories, their fears to corrupt them. Tom's lamp is gone. The lamp with the angel on it. He always loved that lamp. It disappeared from my room. The darkness is here. After all these years, it took Tom's lamp. I know it did. The lights are going out more and more. There's no one left to stop it. I can't do it on my own. Not anymore. I have nothing left of Tom now. I don't know what I'm going to do. I need Tom's lamp back. I need Tom back. The shadows are moving. There is no more light, no more lamps. I can't find my way out of the room. Someone locked the door. Then how are you writing on this paper so perfectly? Did I lock it? Maybe Tom did. He probably did it to keep me safe. He is such a considerate man. Barbara doesn't deserve him. Tom could do so much better. Where did Tom's lamp go? I used to have it. I guess he took it back. That's fine. It was his after all. 
The shadows are moving? Did I write that? Nonsense. There are no shadows. It's just us. Tom and I forever. Okay, psycho. I found something funny while I was down there. A newspaper article about Tom. It called him a filmmaker. Tom didn't make movies. He was a poet. A magnificent poet. I dug around and found film equipment, supposedly also Tom's. What is happening? This isn't right. I know it isn't. Okay, I forgot. There is that film projector downstairs in the basement. I want to go check it out. Uh, I feel like I'm missing some context here. It's just a bench or a, a table. A lantern. Lantern, okay. Was Cynthia using it for protection? Yes, she was. Did she know about the dark presence? She also uh, crossed somebody out. I'm guessing the woman in this photograph was not Cynthia's favorite. Okay, wait. This one. A power station. Hmm. Everyone needs a hobby, I guess. Yeah. Tor's a romantic, huh? Tor loves her for a very special woman. Yeah, well, she's obsessed with Tom, so... Guys, I am so sorry. I'm not gonna... <sighs> Actually, I should click this because it's gonna give me the record. I was gonna say I want to run down to the basement real quick, but it's probably just gonna give me the record if I click this. I think. Yeah. Anger's Remorse by Old Gods of Asgard. I need to play it in the jukebox. Okay. And we... <laughs> Into her. That's enough. Cynthia would deal with the nasty Anderson fellow, Tor, always poking people with his hammer. He had it coming. He had it coming? What did you do? Where is this? Cynthia Weaver smiled. Lost without her lantern? Nonsense. Cynthia felt as giddy as a young girl in love. Cynthia had loved Thomas Zane. Tom only had eyes for Barbara. Barbara was bad news. Tom had seen it in the end. Cynthia had been there to comfort him. And when he left, Cynthia waited. Years of waiting. Now Tom had come back to her. They'd be together now. See the world. She'd always dreamed of seeing New York. They were there now in a fancy hotel. She drew a bath. She would become like Barbara. No, better. She sank into dark water, into Tom. Tom had enemies plotting against him. Cynthia would deal with the nasty Anderson fellow, Tor, always poking people with his hammer. He had it coming. Anything for Tom. Crazy psycho. Cynthia was close to someone named Thomas Zane. Who is he? Tom was back. Tom had enemies. In a fancy hotel. Just his imagination. A nightmare started to creep in. Cynthia Weaver smiled. An old flame. Kinda. Maybe Tom was taken. Okay. Okay. So, when we're over as Alan in the dark place, in the hotel, there's this whole murder investigation thing going on. Can I open this now? No. Okay. Um, and there's like a drowned woman in a bathtub, and I think that's her. And now I'm wondering... Did Thomas Zane kill her? Did he drown her in the bathtub? Because she's just a psycho... Psycho lady who is stalking him and he drowned her? <gasps> Who's that? Table. 
Get me on the table. Oh my god. That was a lot of bullets. That was a lot of fucking bullets. Where did the table go? <laughs> My god. Is everybody still on the porch? Do you hear this? Oh, I thought she was ready to go fight. She's getting geared up. God, nobody cares. Also, I'm very concerned about why that lady's all bloody in there, Mandy May. Why is she so bloody? Alright, I'm not going to put this in yet because it's going to open the overlap. I want to run down to the basement real quick and see if I can use the projector. Here it is. Okay. Click it. Is this something they watch on movie night? That looks just like Casey. What the hell is going on? Stuff for old people? There's no reason elderly people should be watching that. There's no reason anybody should be watching that. Alright, let's leave. I don't even know why I came down here to watch that. Alright, let's go put the record in the jukebox. The song will show me the way. Look in the mirror, the cobweb of my soul. My the overlap is at the pond. Fuck. Here we go again. Well, we had a cute little musical moment for a second, and then it was over in a flash. Where am I? It's like I'm in The Last of Us. Okay, stock me up, baby. Let's see, the body of missing youth discovered in flooded bunker. The local girl, Nora Hesberg, age 15, who went missing on Saturday of last week, was discovered dead in the sealed underground bunker near, Val near Valhalla Nursing Home in Bright Falls. Cause of death has been determined to be drowning. The incident occurred during a gathering of local youths at the bunker. Nora was the first reported missing by her parents Sunday morning, when they discovered their daughter had not returned home the night before. The police were contacted, and they received a tip to check the bunker from one of the victim's acquaintances. Police are treating the tragedy as an accident. The community mourns the loss of its young member. How did she drown, though? She drowned in this bunker, or did she, like, try to swim to it? Mommy. Ugh, it's haunted? This isn't real! Beware the drowned lady. Fuck this place! 
Is that supposed to be my daughter talking to me? Okay, wait. I'm lost. I... They all say the same thing, but where the drowned lady? What in the hell? Okay, this is just a loop. Am I going in circles? Uh-huh. Yeah, this is just a loop. And the screen is like glitching every time it I goes to like the I've loop. I feel like I've been here before. Yeah. Well, now what? Can I go backwards? Okay, yeah, yeah. Looks like I'm making some progress. Let's go deeper. Okay. See how she just spun around and did that? Alright, those are batteries and I actually want those. So is there anything I can get rid of? Yes, get rid of that. Didn't mind. <laughs> Please die. How many bullets was that? There's a lot of bullets. No power. God, I'm Can't sick of this. Switch. No power. Gone too soon. This is the last of us. What the? I need to get the power on to use the switch. I am clicking it, guys. I'm not that slow. It's like you gotta click it right when it hits the top. Rest in peace, it says. The wall just disappeared. Ooh. The light did that? Hell yeah, it did. Just call me Alan Wake, baby. Dude, if we find fucking Breaker down here, I will die. Also, I apologize for the really long video today, guys, but uh, I decided I wasn't gonna split this. Destroy the only way. I wasn't gonna split this into two parts, because I always do that, uh, so I wanted to try to do this in one video, so it's a very long one today. Okay, I already read that. Um... It's a loop, like the others. Great. I need to reach the center. So, if it's a loop like the others... Cynthia. She's here. Do I go backwards again? A dead end. Four. Here again. Uh huh. So that still says four, though. Okay, this says five. Maybe I gotta go by number. Five. Is there a door that says six anywhere, folks? That says four. <sighs> I keep ending up back here. 
Okay, Why? let's go this way. This is different. Maybe this way? Oh. Okay, wait, hold on. Locked. Oh. The key has to be nearby. Locked. Um. All right, well. I'm guessing it's in here. Good, I haven't used my rifle yet, but I am gonna. Bolt cutters. That means we gotta find the bolt cutters here, I think. Because why would they put a bolt cutter section so deep into this basement thing overlap? Right, right? Come on, give me a key. Key! 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 <gasps> they're... they're huge! <laughs> I did not expect them to be bigger than our torso, but... We finally got them! Folks, we got the bolt cutters. I don't know where she put them. They're just in her pants. We fucking did it. Where's the bolt? Where's the bolt cutter room? Turn this off. Oh my god, there's so many things I want to cut. Okay. Bolt cutter, sorry, I'm busy. I'm busy. I'm busy. Go, 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 go. Bye. Bye. I'm not interested. Nope, sorry. Not today. Not interested. Writing a story. Alan, not interested. Oh, I'm stuck. All right, I got the bull cutters. Back again. I am ready go to deeper. fucking go. You know what put a smile on my face? Those bolt cutters, baby. What is this? Okay, nothing in here. Can't go that way. Tor! Tor? Oh, if this ain't a boss room. Oh, if this ain't a boss room. No power. Dark water. Cynthia is changing the overlap. Trying to stop me. Saga! Where are you? I'm here. Can you hear me? Yes. It's so dark! The shadows oh, I'm sorry, kiddo. The hag tricked me. You took Tor. I'm here to take him back. I need to get the lights on to reach him. Uh-huh. How are we gonna do that? Saga! It's so damn dark down there. He said that. I'm underwater! She's trapped me at the bottom. I don't think I'm gonna make it. Okay, what do we do? What do we do? I don't imagine I should be in this water. I gotta get out of the water. Uh-huh. I'm out. Oh! Oh! 
Get him! Alright, I gotta kill this lady, but I don't know where she is. Come on out! Could you come out? Shit! I don't know where she is, though. Okay, maybe there I gotta get. Be a way to get the power back on. All right, I think I gotta get over here. Go, go, go faster. Okay. Okay, so I have to maneuver without getting caught. Gotcha. My legs hurt. Ugh. I don't know which way to go. I can't stay in the water. Shut up, I know this. There's nothing. Nothing here. She's under the water. I oh, I'm stuck. She's coming. Go, 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 go. Ooh, that scared me. Get up! Bro, I'm trying to get out. I got stuck. That scared me. I'm also almost dead. Okay. Go. Get down. Oh, God, the clunkiness. So I just gotta make sure I know exactly what path I'm taking. Great, I don't know what path I'm taking. Great. Oh, right here. in my butt. Ew, I hate this. This is like amnesia. I haven't played that game in so long, but there's like an invisible water monster. Alright, lady. Okay. Am I just going in a big circle? We should leave him here. Cause I'm kinda scared. Oh! Oh 
the old lady jumping out of the water. Where'd she go? I gotta get to the middle. It's cold. Dark. I can't see a goddamn thing. Tell Odin. I'm sorry I fucked everything up. You can apologize to him yourself. I'm getting you the hell out of here. I'm coming. I think. Where are you? Doesn't help. Okay, hold on. I actually need help. and scary um i wanted to throw a propane tank but i just don't think i'll be able to cynthia took the record and i brought it back damn why'd you start me up here i can't see a goddamn thing all right let's Hello. heal i'm sorry i fucked everything up you can apologize to him yourself i'm getting you the hell out of here so that did it you hit her a bunch, then she gets on the ground, and then what? Then we're screwed. Reload. Oh, I can't reload. Fuck. <laughs> Just keep dodging. Dodge it. Dodge it all! Damn it, I was trying to take some health at the same time. That's hard. Come 
damn it. Get over here. Get over here. <sighs> My hands are shaking. My heart is pounding. My cat is meowing. Oh my god, I, my heart was pounding through that. All I was trying to do was to get the propane tank by her feet, but she runs so fast and it was so hard to dodge her attacks, but also try to hit the propane tank, but also not kill myself. <sighs> that was horrible. That right there, that was like my Salazar of Resident Evil 4, where I almost never want to play the game again because I don't want to do that battle again. <laughs> you again? The FBI? The FBI. FBI. Saga Anderson. I'm closer now. I can feel it. You help me get closer to escaping. Wake? Where are you? Is this coming from the dark place when you were still trapped? I have the clicker. We can finish this. There's not the clicker. You can help. We must find it. I already have it. I can get it to you. But I have to understand. Did you write Logan into the story? Black in danger. I need to get back. I'm writing a story. It's the only way. Then change the story. If this is the past. If this is you, still in the dark place, then you can do that, right? You cannot write her in. She's my daughter, goddammit! Logan is in the story. I can get him to change it. I have the clicker. I'll make him change it now. He had no right to do this to Logan. To my family. Tor. Uh, oh, fucking hell. Are you okay? Uh, hey, it took your sweet time to come save your grandpa, huh? Uh, nice attitude. A family trait? Uh, uh, you're right. Sorry. Thanks for helping out an old bastard like me. That's my job. Now, I've got some questions for you. <laughs> of course you do, sweetie fine. <laughs> and I got answers. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> 
Oh, that was a cute ending. To a horrible chapter! Mm-mm. We need to take a break. You and I need to talk. Katie needs to save. Cause the- Oh, are you kidding me? She doesn't want to? I have to save the game! I just came down into that basement area thing to save my game because I was not going to not be able to save it, do my outro, and then lose my recording again. Not gonna happen. This one was a super fun one. That boss battle was so hard. Oh my god. I was so stressed out in that. My heart was in my butt. I, my heart was pounding. And um, yeah, that was that was really tough. Have you guys had as much trouble as I did with that one uh, when you played this game? This was definitely the scariest chapter so far in this entire game with all the jump scares, so hopefully those are over with. But as I was running into the basement, another jump scare happened. It was uh, her face again. So it makes me think that maybe just this little basement area just has the jump scares kind of added in um, because I thought we killed her. But she just jump scared me again as I was running down here, so anyway. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.